Welcome to our two minute update. My name is Maggie Snyder with your Indiana United Way policy team and today I am joined by Paulette Vandegraaff with the League of Women Voters and also president of the Indiana Coalition for Human Services. Thanks Maggie. I'm happy to be here today to share how important it is to register or update your voter registration information by Monday, April the 4th. The 2016 primary election is very important and your vote matters. Thanks, Paulette. Can you tell me a little bit more about the process for registering to vote? Sure. First of all, you need to be a U.S. citizen. You need to be 18 years of age or older before the next general election, and you must have lived in your precinct for at least 30 days prior to the next general election. Also, if you have changed your address or changed your name, you may want to check with your local election office to make sure that information is up to date. You can also check out more of that information online at www.indianavoters.com. It's super easy. You can do it on your phone or your laptop anytime, but especially before April 4th. So Paula, can you tell me more about how once you've registered, how you find your actual polling place? You can also check that out at www.indianavoters.com. They will have polling place information posted for you. Thanks. And are the League of Women Voters hosting local candidate forums or anything that our readers should be keeping their eyes out for? Yes. If you reside in a county where there is a local League of Women Voters organization, you should check your local newspapers for any information on local races. Thanks, Paulette. Thanks for joining us. And to our readers, be sure to check out more information throughout our newsletter, especially the Thriving Communities Report and ideas for National Volunteer Week coming up later this month. Thanks, Maggie. Thanks.